And then of course, you know, the lips always look good. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Danette here. So, as you guys can see, we are back in the kitchen because we are doing another cooking video. I'm so excited about my, re my recent purchases today. So, I never owned a strainer. Like, I literally would just put like a spatula or something up to the pot and let the water drain out, which never works out. Like, my noodles literally were always stuck together. But we won't have that problem today because your girl went to go pick up some strainers. So I could be prepared. And while I was there, I literally forgot these things even existed. Like I do not make bacon on my stove. I make it in my air fryer because I don't like like the grease splashing everywhere. I don't make fried chicken either because I don't like the grease splashing everywhere. So if I eat fried chicken, I'm going out to buy it. But now that we have these, I might be making some fried chicken. We in the game, coach. So today we will be making the baked feta pasta that you see all over the internet, all over TikTok, all over Instagram. This girl I went to school with posted, you know, that she made it and it looked so good. And I'm like, I want to try that. So the ingredients that we will be using today, it, first of all, it looks very easy. Super easy. So the ingredients we will be using today, of course, is feta, some tomatoes, garlic, minced garlic just in case because I'm a garlic girl, crushed red pepper, oregano, Basil, yours does not have to be organic. I low-key did not want organic. This was the only one they had left at the store. Olive oil, salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add a zest, but I don't know if I wanna do lemon juice or lime juice. We're gonna figure that out when we get later, later down the road. So I'm thinking I'm only gonna use half of this feta because one thing about me, I'm only cooking for myself. And so I don't like to cook a lot because then I'm gonna, first of all, I don't like wasting food. So since I don't like wasting food, if I cook a lot, then I'm stuck eating this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for like the rest of the week. So like that tortellini I made, like it was such a large pan or pot, I'm still confused on what that dish is called. Um, that I had to freeze it because I was literally tired of eating it after the second day. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I need some chicken wings. So that literally is in the freezer. So today, so I don't have to deal with eating the same thing over and over. I'm only gonna make half of the feta. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I did forget to mention, of course you'll be needing pasta noodles. So I'm gonna use bow tie noodles i think that's what they're called so i have some water boiling on the stove i just added some salt i'm going to stir the salt in and then next i am going to stir in the i mean i'm going to add the noodles Like I said, I want to be eating this all week, so I'm gonna make sure I don't cook too much. This is like maybe two bowls. Okay, perfect. And then you want to remember to occasionally stir the noodles so they don't stick together. As I told you guys, my noodles are always sticking together, but that usually only happens with spaghetti noodles, not these noodles. But yeah. Okay, so you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Y'all, I just realized my jumpsuit is inside out. But anyways, 
We are going to put some oil in here to begin. Next, we're gonna add some tomatoes in here. Again, since I'm not trying to make a large portion, I'm just gonna do like half. Okay, so since I am only making a small portion, I decide to use a different dish. So I grease this one and put the tomatoes in here. As I said, I'm only gonna use half of the feta. So you're gonna put it in the middle. It looks like a big piece. We're gonna add some garlic. We're gonna add some oregano. And then we're gonna add some salt. We're gonna add some more oil to the top. As you remember, the oven is on 400 degrees. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so while that is cooking, we're gonna wait. Oh my gosh, my makeup looks so good on this camera. I don't know how it's gonna show up on you guys. It's like on your side, but me looking in here, it looks so good. And it's not even a full fake it's a makeup. I literally, first of all, I get here, the tomatoes bursting. But anyways, <laughs> or maybe it's the cheese melting. I can hear something sizzling. But anyways, back to the makeup. I literally have on concealer. I did put on some powder and then I put on some bronzer and that's it. I didn't put anything on my eyelashes because for my birthday, I got lash extensions, which I'm definitely allergic to. Not definitely because I'm not dead, but excuse me. I'm very much allergic to them. Like when I get them, my eyes are so itchy. I literally start sneezing. My nose is like super stuffed. Yeah, so anyways, but I just got them because I wanted to be cute. I already knew I was allergic, but I'm not going to be cute. They finally fell off, but some still are on here. They were literally 17 inches, like, were they seven, not 17 inches, but they, they was the size 17. I don't know, CMs or whatever, MMs, I don't know. But <laughs> they were size 17 and they were so long, but I literally had like two left on this eye. All of them fell off of this eye. But I literally had two left on this eye, and so I like cut them. So you might be able to see I have something on this eye, but like little small pieces because I cut them. But yeah, like I don't know how. I wish I could continue to get them so I could just wake up cute every day, but I just can't because I can't deal with that. It's so uncomfortable. I barely could go to sleep. Like I was literally getting pus and stuff in my eyes because my eyes begin irritated. <laughs> so. I was like, I cannot wait to these fall off. I was picking at them and they finally fell off. Thank God. I ain't gotta deal with that no more. I'm literally never getting them again. Never. Ever. Because I'm pretty sure the lady I went to used sensitive glue and I still had that issue. So yeah, they just not for me. But anyways, back to what I was saying, my makeup look good and it's not even a full face, honey. And then of course, you know, the lips always look good. <laughs> don't mind me. As y'all see, I don't have any, um, I'm not drinking any wine today because I just don't feel, I don't have a taste for it today. But this is so bad. I don't want to show y'all what I'm drinking. It's so bad. So bad. Don't judge me. <laughs> I don't even I don't even buy pop for my house like um, when I go to the grocery store I never buy pop but I went to the nail shop not too long ago and the lady gave me a pop and this was in my refrigerator and I'm like I don't feel like drinking wine none of the waters was cold but this was cold of course and so I was like yeah 
Coke it is. <laughs> I did it before. I'm so excited to use these. And they come with different sizes. Timer just went off. I'm about to turn it up to 450 degrees and let it cook for about 10 5 to 10 minutes we just want the cheese to be fully melted and to be a little brown all together It was okay. So I'm just stirring in the noodles right now. Okay, so I also had some pesto in my refrigerator, so I'm about to add some pesto to this. Now you don't need pesto, this is just a little extra. Okay, so this is the finished product. I had my garlic bread. I also put some Parmesan cheese on top of my um, pasta. And I'm gonna add a few red pepper flakes to add a little spice. And we are all done. Bon appetit, I'm about to make well i have to post a picture on instagram to let these people know i'll be out here cooking just in case they forgot okay so i finished taking my picture for instagram now for the moment of truth let's see It's really good. The feta has a very strong taste and it tastes really good. <laughs> I would love to try this with like some meat though. Maybe with some chicken or shrimp, but by itself, it's really good. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys try this recipe. If you try this recipe, Please tell me how um, it turned out, if you like it, what your, you know, your feelings, your thoughts about it. And stay tuned for my next video. I already know what I'm gonna make next and I'm so excited about this upcoming video. Like, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. <laughs> I'll put chicken crumbs on me. <laughs> I am so excited about my upcoming, my next video. I already know what I wanna make. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. I've only had it once in my life, but of course I've never tried to make it before. So it's gonna be another experiment because this was an experiment. I did make the tortellini before, but this was an experiment. So y'all, we learned to cook together. But please stay tuned for the next video. You won't wanna miss it. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, Danette out.